Data analysis is a concept that makes it a mistake to theorize without using data. Sherlock Holmes had seen this as proclaimed in the short story scandal in Bohemia by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Higher learning institutions use all their efforts to educate their students, but these are people in the learning stage. Learners need a data analysis assignment help expert to help them understand the fundamentals after the class. If you need help with that data analysis homework, let qualified gurus here take a look. We are known to offer quality in impeccable timelines. What is data analysis assignment help? Data analysis assignment help is the assistance you get in obtaining essential information through data evaluation. The process that our experts follow includes the following, inspecting, cleaning, transforming, modeling. We use statistical and analytical tools that your tutors or lecturers recommend. We will look at some of them as we go on. Data analysis is crucial in our lives, so we want to help you learn it. Why is data analysis important? In simplified terms, analyzing data helps businesses, in general, to make better decisions. The best part is that every organization collects and uses data to monitor performance and determine the future direction. That supermarket you know uses data to bring the best products to you and analyze the market trends. The ANET and other climate organizations use data to examine climate change and determine the best measures. We will also look at how data analysis helps to solve business problems later in the article. Since this is an essential activity in most businesses, if not any business, getting data analysis help is vital for every student. Here, you can share your assignment details on our order page and let us help you master the art of analyzing data. Why is data analysis important? In simplified terms, analyzing data helps businesses, in general, to make better decisions. The best part is that every organization collects and uses data to monitor performance and determine the future direction. That supermarket you know uses data to bring the best products to you and analyze the market trends. The ANEP and other climate organizations use data to examine climate change and determine the best measures. We will also look at how data analysis helps to solve business problems later in the article. Since this is an essential activity in most businesses, if not any business, getting data analysis help is vital for every student. Here, you can share your assignment details on our order page and let us help you master the art of analyzing data. Types of data analysis involved, many students have come to us for SPSS data analysis help for capstone projects and the usual small assignment assistance. Whether you want to finish that quick homework or get dissertation data analysis help, we will aid in the following types of data analysis. Diagnostic analysis. A diagnostic analysis answers the why question. If you have used a descriptive analysis, check below. To determine a problem, this type of analysis will tell you why the problem is occurring. For example, you may notice that people buy many jackets in a clothes shop. The cold weather might be the reason, but if you dig deeper, you also notice that most people are okay with that price despite the inflation. Diagnostic analysis will help you determine why, the affordable price, people are buying the jackets more. Descriptive analysis, descriptive analysis is what tells you what is happening. So, it answers the what question. A good example is a data analysis showing a shop's clothes buying trends. Referring to the example above, in diagnostic analysis, the what will be the sudden influx in jacket purchases, prescriptive analysis. Prescriptive analysis combines the analysis from descriptive, diagnostic, and predictive types to recommend the best direction for the business. Based on our example, the business may stock more jackets before the cold season begins, predictive analysis. This type of analysis uses the data to project what may happen. In our example, the business owner may have noticed that more jackets are bought during winter. That will help a business predict a high jacket sale just before and during the winter season. What is the process of analyzing data? Once you ask for data analysis homework help from us, we deploy the process to help us deliver the best results. Data analysis involves gathering data, processing it, exploring, and finding patterns, among other things. The procedure consists of the following, gathering requirements. This part involves getting the reason for doing the analysis. 
It's also essential to note what data type should be used and what you intend to analyze. Collecting the data. After identifying the requirements, it's time to collect the data. The sources may include surveys, case studies, direct observations, and interviews. Data cleanup. After collecting, it's time to remove what you will not use. This is where you eliminate the duplicates, white spaces, and other errors. Analyzing data. This crucial part involves software and other essential tools. Some of the tools we use include SPSS, Excel, and Python. If you want SPSS data analysis help, please order the service from us anytime. Interpreting the data. After getting the results from the analysis, it's time to interpret and get the best recommendations based on what you have found. Visualizing. This is another way to say we should present the data so people can read and understand. Here, we can use charts, graphs, and other data visualizations. Data analysis techniques. There are various techniques, or methods, used in data analysis. They are all, however, categorized into two major groups. They include quantitative data analysis. Quantitative data analysis is where we work with numerical values or variables. They can be measurements, percentages, or calculations, among other data types that can be represented using numbers. Qualitative data analysis. We deal with non-numerical data in qualitative data analysis. Here, you can work with identifiers such as property and labels. It also includes categorical variables such as percentages and statistics. Now, let's go deeper and see what both techniques are all about and the subcategories in each. Quantitative data analysis, the techniques under this category have a different approach to extracting data. A Monte Carlo simulation, for example, helps predict probabilities from uncertain conditions. Fields that can use such include science and engineering. Under qualitative data analysis, the two popular techniques include regression and hypothesis analysis. Regression analysis, it is a type of analysis that determines how dependent and independent variables relate. The two main types of regression analysis include simple linear and multiple linear. Hypothesis analysis, a data analysis technique utilizes sample data to evaluate a hypothesis. In this type of analysis, statistical tests determine if an assumption is factual or plausible. The main components of this analysis are the alternative hypothesis and the null hypothesis. Qualitative data analysis, the two main approaches to this technique include inductive approach, here, an analyst needs to learn the outcome of the collected samples. So, they collect the proper and appropriate amount of data on the interested topic. After that, they look for patterns that will lead to the development of a theory, deductive approach. In this approach, the analyst has an idea of what is expected from a sample population. Tools used in data analysis. There are lots of tools that experts can use when delivering data analysis assignment help. Here, we have five tools that we can use to assist you with that homework. Remember, there are more tools used for data analysis. If you don't find the one recommended by your teacher here, don't worry. You can still tell us about your assignment since our experts can use numerous tools, SPSS, Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, SPSS is a gift for data analysts from IBM. It has been around for some time, which also means improving how people collect and analyze data before deploying the results. The wealth of functionalities in this software and the high accessibility level are why your tutor recommends it. Our SPSS data analysis help will assist you in learning the multidimensional space facility, one of the most valuable features. In general, the interface is user-friendly, and that is why our experts will be quick to help you complete that assignment. It works well with large amounts of data. That is why we use it for students who need SPSS data analysis help for dissertations. So, ask for SPSS homework help from us if you know you cannot complete it on time. Python. Python is an open source programming language that has a broad range of uses. One of them is data analysis. Unlike most of the languages out there, it's a language that you can read through quickly. With that, how does Python help in data analysis? Numerous libraries such as NumberPy, Pandas, SciPy, and Scikit-learn, among others, can help scrap, analyze, and visualize the data. 
Some useful ones in the data analysis context include Pandas and NumberPy, which support data manipulation and streamline computational tasks. There is also Matplotlib, which helps visualize and report the data so that it becomes readable to other users. We can use these libraries to help you with your assignment, as well as general Python homework help and computer science homework help. Excel, even those who don't do data analysis know what Excel is. It comes with the Microsoft Office package, so it's on your computer if you have the Office suite. It may not be the best when compared to other tools. If you, however, look at how Excel helps in data analysis, it's a software you must pay attention to. We recommend that all data analysis beginners should start here. It's an application with functions such as concatenate and sumif. The prior is meant for merging numbers and texts, among other data, into a single cell. The latter calculates the sum of selected cells based on the criteria you feed. It also has a pivot table. How does a pivot table help in data analysis? There are many things that this feature can do. In summary, it can sort, summarize, count, group, and total the data you have, conduct advanced calculations, analyze and present summarized data, filter data. The only limitation of Excel is that it cannot handle big data. If your assignment does not require too much data, let our experts handle it using Excel. Our programming, R, is also an open source programming language, just like Python. Its syntax is more complex, though and it's commonly used to create data or statistical analysis software. It's suited for those with heavy statistics to compute and popular for those who want to visualize the data. It also has an extensive network of available code for free, and it integrates with languages such as C. C and Fortran, Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Power BI is less than 10 years old. It grew from being an Excel plugin to a standalone application. It can help in creating dashboards and other interactive visual reports. Learning requires less effort and can integrate easily with Excel, of course, SQL servers, text files, and popular cloud sources like Google Analytics.